So I was going to start the stream, and then I was like, oh, I never plugged in my capture card. That would be a good thing to do. But <laughs> it, it might help me stream a little bit if you can actually see what I'm doing. Hey guys, what's going on? Oh, that's fun. Um, now you guys get to see the cool thing that my capture card does sometimes. It's like, oh, green stripes? Yeah, green stripes. Cool. And now it's fine. All right. Hi, how's it going? How's everybody doing? It might help. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. It'll be all right. But, uh, Kuro's here. Ando's here. Lily's here. Some art, malware bites. Shut the fuck up. I will take care of you later. Ron's here. Yeah. All right. What are we going to art today, you guys? I just realized I forgot to save out. Did I Wait, Kuro, did I send you your stuff? I forgot. I will send you your stuff after this. I think I forgot. Oh, thanks. I'm glad you like my work. Power Bites, shut up. Power Bites is like, update me, please. Get some music. All right, let's uh, let's take care of that real quick. All right, what's current? That's perfect. Let me, I'll just save them out real quick. That way I won't forget. 72 DPI. Oh, the babies. Oh, it's a little bit big. Then. Thousand or straight a thousand? Nope, not a hundred thousand. Get out of here. <laughs> That's good. There you go. Done. Fixed. Oh, I just remembered we're doing armor tonight. Ugh. I'm gonna close the capture door. One second. So you guys are gonna see nothing for a moment. That's normal and expected. Uh, give me one second. In fact, I'll even stick the BRB up so people don't think that I'm gone. These bad boys in there. And send key. Alright, and I will close it. And now I'm back. <laughs> you should be receiving an email shortly with your stuff in it. Okay. How's everybody doing today? I am... I am okay. I am a little bit tired. I'm not 100% sure if I really want to do art right now. I don't really know what I want to do. No Harder, what's up? How's that? How are you guys doing? How's everybody's Thursday going? No, I think her head does Smaller. The... Deuce Wainings. Little bit. Not a lot. Seems. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, everything merged. Feels like her head could be a little bit more, maybe. I don't know if it's her hair that's doing that. It just seems big. It's almost Friday! It is almost Friday. It is. Popcorn Doggo, what's up? Busy with school, but now you're out. Yay! Congratulations. Long day. I'll live. It's a thing. Yep. Pretty much. Sometimes.
Sometimes you need an unproductive day, though, Ando. That's... That's what I like to think. Ugh, I don't want to do armor today. <laughs> Alright, you guys get to watch me power through armor. The problem is I don't have anything else to work on. <laughs> The only other commission I have is also a large-scale one, so this is fine. <laughs> Make it work. That doesn't work the way I want it to. Honestly, not really in that much of a mood to do art today anyway. I've just, I've been drawing all day. But, the stuff's gotta get done at some point, so here we go. We're gonna do it. I suppose I could play Pokemon. I already started the stream as a commission stream, though. So, we're doing it. It's happening. Can't escape it. So I, get her, I got everything resolved with the leasing office this morning. Um, apparently they used an outside company to do all the plumbing replacement in the apartments. And a lot of people have been having trouble with them not cleaning up their apartments when they're done. So at least it's not just me. Um, but they, they're they going to call and uh, yell at the plumbing company for not cleaning up my apartment. And tell them that that behavior is unacceptable. So hey, you know, a thing. A good thing happened today. <laughs> Or it's kind of incredible. There's been these big, uh, these, there's been, been these big dumpsters uh, outside my apartments for a couple of days, and I think that, that they're just throwing like the toilets and stuff that they're replacing in there. Because when I got home from work, there were two guys in a truck throwing toilets into the big. Well, I, it, obviously that's why they're there. But they've been throwing like, uh, like you could hear the porcelain shattering from them throwing stuff in there. It was kind of weird. <laughs> It's kind of, just kind of it's kind of incredible that that you know it's not like you can recycle it so it just goes into a big dumpster and goes to the landfill like ah, a little bit sad almost porcelain you can't do anything with it it's not like you can recycle porcelain Busy with personal projects lately, so it's good to sit back and watch someone else do all the work. Yeah, that's me. Doing all the work. I don't really know what the fuck's going on with this little badge thing, but I hate it. <laughs> I'm gonna remove it again. <laughs> What have you been working on, uh, Popcorn? I haven't seen you in a while. I'm curious as to what you've been working on.
I really want to get back to my world building stuff. I always do this every time I take commissions. I want to go back to my world building stuff really bad. <laughs> For some reason, my brain's like, okay, so right now you want to do literally anything other than the thing you want to do. Okay? Okay. We're on the same page? Good. Like, my brain's just like, no, you don't need to do work. It's work. Why would you want to do work? Lurking for a bit, gonna get myself productive somehow. Yeah, there you go. You get productive. You can do it. I believe in you. Working on an ongoing commission right now, too, so I keep thinking about World Building 101 is at and what's coming next. Yeah. I know I have to, like, sit down. I, I, the, the last time I did world building stuff, it was really a little bit rough to do on stream, if I'm honest. Just because there was so much stuff I suddenly realized that I didn't have, like, planned out on those sheets. It's not like I could go, okay, then we have this information that can go here, and this one that can go here. You know, it was like, suddenly I had no template to work off of, and I got a little bit lost in my own thing. So, like, it was that was a little bit weird for me, because for the Jadoa sheet, I had a template to work off of. You know, I had the old sheet to just copy-paste information off of. I already had it all broken down into sections. Um, so, last... Last time I streamed world building, it was kind of rough because I spent, like, the first half of the stream just sliding boxes around and scribbling all over it, trying to figure out, where, like, where stuff was going to go. And I just babbled for, like, 20 minutes about, like, oh, maybe I should put it here. But no, maybe I should put it over here. You know, like, I kept I kept moving stuff around. So I, I feel like I need to maybe sit down and decide what's going on what page before I stream world building again. So that at the very least, you guys aren't stuck watching me drag boxes around and, like, plan <laughs> But, I don't know, maybe you guys enjoy that. Maybe you don't mind me babbling incoherently to myself while I try to decide, like, what what piece of information is going to go into which box. I don't know. You came to where the sidewalk ends and need to figure out where to go next. Yeah. Well, it's like I have... So, I have... I'll show you. It's like I have all this information. Um... Eats. Like, I have this whole document full of information... And it's all broken down into, like, sections. It's just translating it into this format because, like, some stuff's going to be more important. Like, Jadoa, it was important to talk about the sky kites. It was important to talk about the music. You know, arts and entertainment got its own section. Fashion was really important. Uh, they have a whole page dedicated entirely to language. Veos aren't going to have that much detail, but I do need an entire page probably dedicated to, like, how their voting system works. Like, how they elect leaders. Because I, I literally have a whole method for, like, how they choose their leader. So, like, I have, like, so much in, like, their whole demographic and politics is probably going to need its own section. It's just wild. But I just have to decide how I want to break it down because, like, the page one is easy. It's like, okay, put the appearance here and then put the variant appearances here and then put hairstyles here and put, you know, a couple informations here and then put colors at the bottom. You know, it's really easy because you're just, like just swapping out images and information but on these other sheets it's a little bit more cultural based so now I have to like actually go in and think about okay what goes on this page now that we're not talking about Jadoa anymore you know it's all part of the creative process but it's still not that much fun <laughs> I don't know it feels weird to slow down like that I just have to figure out where on the sheet it should go. I think I might need to, like, plan that out. I think I need to look at my information and, like, make a list almost. Like, okay, page, page four has cultural stuff, like religion, and, like, special holidays. So, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, put in, um... You know, I, I'm gonna do, um, 
you know, I'm going to lump these pieces of information together. And then, but page, page five has a lot of fashion stuff, and I don't need that much fashion stuff for these guys, so I'm going to do something else here. You know, like that kind of thing. I, I think I need to go through and make a list of, like, what I'm replacing with something different and what I'm just keeping the way it is. So it's going to be a process, but that's for another day because we're not even doing that tonight. I keep being on and off excited to work on the Asenians because on the one hand, Asenians are fun to draw, but on the other hand, um, Asenians have dragons, and that means I need to invent dragons, and I just kind of don't want to. Uh, going on with the muzzle on. Looks like it's some kind of almost like age bit here. Are you still on the, um... Oh, jeez. Are you still on the, um, mountain biome run? That kind of planning is relaxing. That's good. Inventing dragons is the best thing ever. See, it is, except I keep getting stuck because I feel like my dragons aren't, like, unique enough or whatever. Like, or I feel like they're not, like, the right style. I don't know. And I need to come up with some, like, interesting, like, things for them to do. Like, like one one dragon I want to do for the Asenians is uh, definitely one I, uh, like I already have planned. I sort of have an idea of what it looks like. I think we tried to draw it a while ago, and I just wasn't happy with it. So I'm going to have to come back to it, but it's um, an Asenian sky... I think I called it an Asenian sky sealer, but I might change the name. But it's, but it's like a super fat... It's like the fastest Asenian dragon... Um, and it has, like, four wings, and it's got a sleek body so that it's aerodynamic and all that stuff. But I just haven't, like, gotten around to, like, solidifying the design. Like, I kind of have an idea of what it looks like, but... So, at some point, I will go through and do that kind of stuff, but that's not always relaxing to me, so... 80% of my sketchbook is just me inventing dragons. Just finished up Mountains doing two big colored pictures for it Sunday, but I know where we're going next. Ooh, where you... what What biome is next on the list? was selected next. Okay, I lied. Armor's really fun. <laughs> Armor's fun because you get to put all these little pockmark details on it, and I forgot about that. <laughs> I think I'm actually really not excited for in my Lorhandel stuff that I know I'm gonna have to do at some point, I just really don't want to do it, to be honest, um, is history, writing out the history of the world. So bad at history, just in general. And I always feel like my times are, like, my time periods are too close together, or I don't put enough inf interesting information in, or, you know, like, that's, that's where I struggle. I have some little plot points, like, but I don't know where they fall on the timeline, and, like, I don't know. Stoic, what up? Next is glaciers. The ice biome. It's a big one. Ooh. That'll be fun. So if anybody wants to volunteer to help me write out the history of Lorhandel, <laughs> I would not be mad about that. Maybe that'll be the point at which I start bringing you guys in is when I start running out of ideas. <laughs> like, okay, guys, we're going to share the story now. History lover done timelines. Often it's fun stuff to me. Yeah. See, like, I want it to be fun, but it's not. I just don't enjoy it. I, I always, like, I perceive time... I have, I have, I guess I have a hard time perceiving time. I don't know if I per perceive it weirdly, but I just, I have a hard time with, with that, and so, like... I don't know how long a certain period of time is, or, like, if it's not that long, you know, that kind of stuff. Never been into world building, but it's, after hearing you guys, it seems interesting. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. I, I feel like, you know, if, I feel like it would be fun to at least listen to, you know, it's like, you don't gotta be in, in, into it to, you know, be doing it to find it interesting. It's, uh, it, it can be fun.
Popcorn, I don't know if you're following Ron, um, but the channel he streams on is DM Joey, um, and you should check him out if you like listening to world building stuff. I don't know if you're following him yet, but uh, he's working on a big old world building project that's a lot of fun. Basher, what's up? We chillin', we drawin', we drawin' wargans, again. I have a whole folder full of, of dragon reference, though. Like, like just ideas of things I could potentially do. How's it going, friend? That's her arm right there. I didn't even see her arm. <laughs> I've already forgotten what my own sketch looks like. Half the fun of world building is bullshitting your way through it, too. <laughs> Half the times you guys come in here and you're like, oh, well, how did Jadoa feel about this? And I'm like... Uh, yes. Next question. You know, it's like... Yeah, oh, hey there, Arm. What's up? You know, it's like, you guys... A you I think uh, Stop Sign did that one time. Stop Sign uh, asked me how genetics work in the Jadoa, and I just went... How do genetics work with the Jadoa? <laughs> like, I suddenly had to think about it. Like, seriously, was like... Yeah, I guess I have to consider that at some point, don't I? <laughs> I will get the picture of the owl bear. Just like draw the owl bear. Not today. I love that moment where you have to take a subject and really look at the nuts and bolts of how it would work, and then you smooth it through. Yeah. I had that, um, we were designing the, um, we were designing the government for the Jadoa. I didn't want to go with, like, a classic government, because none of them seemed to really, like, like, like a real-life government, none of them really seemed to fit. And so I asked the Discord, and they actually gave me the idea to do the one that I am currently using, which is kind of like a... It's a little bit like a democracy, but uh, it's a little bit also more fluid than a democracy. It's kind of uh, their own thing, though, and and that came out came up, came about entirely because I didn't know what to do, and so I asked the Discord what they thought would make sense, and and we kind of talked about it, and you know, kind of worked out. Because I didn't want them to have like a system of government where there was like, you know, any kind of political struggle because they think so differently from humans. Like they didn't really need like a dictatorship or even even like a one ruler so i was like well what if it was like a you know panel of, of people and that's how we arrived at what i ended up with been doing more pride stuff than anything recently i guess i'm that kind of person yeah i haven't done anything like pride related in a long time i never like lived like we had a big pride th uh festival type thing in my hometown but i didn't have a car so it was really hard to get to and after walking around for several hours in the hot sun, I was like, okay, well, this is fun. I'm gonna go home now. I kind of get the same way about conventions, too. Like, I'm just kind of like, okay, well, that's a thing. 
guess. Like, I've never really been to too many conventions. It's not something that's ever really, you know, interested me all that much. I don't know why, either. You'd think I'd be a little bit more attached to the, uh... You'd think I'd be a little more attached to the art, uh... You know, art scene like that, or a little more attached to the pride scene, but... Nope, just... I guess that was never something that really interested me. But that's cool that you've been doing a lot of pride. Have you been, like, helping out at, like, a local festival, or...? I ran a booth at a convention for six years. For me, it was like driving a storm into a hurricane each time. So terrifying, thrilling, and exhausting. <laughs> oh my gosh. My, th my problem specifically with conventions was that we didn't have any close enough to me. It wasn't even like, oh, too bad I can't get to the other side of town because I don't have a car. It was like literally the closest convention that had anything art related was like an hour and a half from me. Like it was literally a day trip. Ship. I mean, driving a storm into another storm also seems accurate. <laughs> and terrifying. Driving a storm into another storm does not sound like it would be particularly easy. <laughs> Also doing probably really commissions and other art stuff. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, actually, that's a good point. I don't think I've, I actually haven't done any like pride-related art or. You'd find this a little hard to believe considering how often I bring it up, but like, sexual orientation isn't even that big a deal to me. Like, I don't actually bring it up as often. I mean, I bring it up a lot around you guys because it's kind of fun to make jokes about it, I guess. Like, I make jokes. I make gay jokes just on my own. Just <laughs> I think it's a defense mechanism. It's like, well, so everyone else, you can't make fun of me if I make fun of myself first, <laughs> you know? Like, but honestly, in real life, it doesn't even come up that much. Like, outside of the stream where, you know, it's something that we can all kind of relate to, at least on some level, it's like, I don't talk about it that much for real. Driving a storm seems pretty tough, too. Yep. Hey, Crusher, what's up? How's it going? Man, this, uh, this worgen has a lot of antlers. <laughs> She's getting her Gaston on up in here. She uses antlers in all of her decorating. <laughs> Oh, there's not a lot of volunteer opportunities, gotcha. <laughs> Buck is now gassed on. Cannon confirmed. Finals week is next week. Not looking forward to that. Yeah, but at least you're almost free, right? I mean, at least there's that. Like, on, on the one hand, finals, ew, gross. But, like, on the other hand, also free. Freedom. You get to escape into the void. What Jesus Christ is going on with your helmet, friend? Okay. 
Got it. One more week and then I go to work at a nine to five company my mom works at. Yay, money. Trust me when I tell you that a job is way better than school. Hands down, no question, just it's better. It's ironic because I hate deer. Well, that's fair. I, for one, love deer. They are tasty. Skeletons are pretty metal. They are. They do have pretty metal skeletons. We had deer antlers hanging on our wall at, at college for a while. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Actually. They were like little tiny antlers. They were, it wasn't like a big epic like rack of antlers. It was just like a tiny thing. Why don't you like deer, out of curiosity? Like, no judgment, just what, what, what is it about deer that you don't like? Everyone is allowed to dislike things. I'm just curious. Live in New Jersey, they're pretty much everywhere. They're really stupid and run into your car pretty easily. Ah, oh, that's a good reason to not like them, yeah. Wander into the road. You're pretty stupid. Your major pest, they have a lot of gross diseases, gotcha. It's going. We are getting there. They wander around in Detroit a lot too, gotcha. I had one come into our yard, uh, in, into my yard uh, a couple days ago. She looked like she was banged up pretty bad though. She was limping. She must have gotten hit by a car. Like, she was favoring her back leg a little bit. Otherwise, she seemed fine, though, surprisingly. Like, a, a, one of the neighbors came outside and gave her, like, a couple pieces of bread, and she was totally fine with it. For some reason, she was injured, but otherwise was fine. Like that one time, I, we, um, we saw a duck in the park when we were taking a walk at lunch, and uh, we saw a duck that was missing part of its foot, which was kind of wild. Like, she was just missing the, her foot from, like, the ankle down. But she was fine. She was hobbling along in the grass like she had, like, a peg leg. <laughs> like, that's what it reminded me of. It reminded me of, like, a peg leg. She was just hobbling a little bit. and Otherwise, she was fine. Didn't seem bothered by her missing leg at all. And then we got a little too close because we were walking. And... Okay. I love ducks. Ducks are so... People don't have deer around them. They think they're magical and wonderful. <laughs> oh, yeah. Deer are not magical and wonderful. They're just... They're just big dumb bait. Arr, I be the salty duck. Yes, exactly. Saltiest duck. We haven't seen him in a while, though. I think because the, the park turned the fountains back on. I, I don't know that they like the fountains in the... Sad, because ducks. We really wanted to see the duck. The late bit, yay, art. No worries. 
Welcome to lurk mode. All right, you guys, we gotta talk in our in our quiet voices so that Rocker can't hear us talking about him. Okay. Okay. You, okay. You want me to? You want me to give his character a mustache? Got it. It's fine. Any, anyway, so uh, well, yeah. What were we talking about? We weren't. Yeah, we weren't talking about anything. <laughs> I'm just. I'm just drawing some stuff. Don't worry about it. I'll put the. I'll do the mustache. Not looking. There you. Go. Not looking. And like nothing happened. <laughs> the deer here are nothing like you guys making it to be. They're usually in our parks and we'll even let you pet them and stuff. Yeah, that is actually a pretty big problem. They they really shouldn't be so comfortable with humans that they will just come right up to you because that's how they end up in the streets getting hit by a car. Put Buck in lingerie. <laughs> Wah! What up, Nugget? Nugget has transformed into Waluigi. Quick, run! Okay. What's up? What's up, friend? See, the problem with deer being accustomed to people is that, like, they'll wander into somebody's yard and, you know, because they're, they, they're fine with humans and they think humans are fine because they give them food and then... You know, they wander into the street, and... What is he doing? Got distracted. Oh. Oh, it's like a metal piece around her back? Is that what that is? Is that why I drew that the way I did? <laughs> Thing. Go to stuff, of course. Yep. Also, how how about that? How to train your dragon trailer? Huh? How about that? Huh? That was. I, I'm intrigued. They have my attention. They have my attention. I was skeptical. I was. But you know, I'm I'm intri I'm intrigued. I I have some intrigue. Jesus, Lily! Oh my God, tone it down a little bit. Yeah, there's a new trailer. It's uh, it looks looks pretty all right. I was a little concerned about the White Knight Fury being like too feminine, but it seems all right. We don't need that kind of aggression in the chat. All right, nobody deserve. There's there's a very small handful of people that are, that need to be lined up in a line and shot, and that's not one of them. So let's not even joke about that. I am surprised for as much as you like dragons that you don't like that movie. Those movies, plural. Because Toothless is the greatest thing that we've ever been gifted with. I purchased a very expensive statue of him and it's the, my favorite thing. <laughs> I love him so much. Toothless is so good. That guy just kind of seemed like a rehash of the villain from the second movie TV show. Yeah, I mean, I, th I feel like it's going to be a little on the generic side, to be like for for sure. I don't think it. I, it feels like it's just going to be, you know, more generic bad guy nonsense. But 
I think it looks alright. I think it's gonna be okay. I think I, I think it's gonna I think that the the villain plot might be more of the B plot this time around. It feels like it's gonna be a lot more about the relationship between Toothless and Hiccup. Um more than anything else. Like it, it almost kind of feels like he's just gonna be like the B plot. The the villain anyway. I I don't know, maybe that's just me. I mean, I never read the books. So I love the movie. They're good movies. I mean... I feel like it wasn't, like, Aragon, where, like, the Aragon movie was nothing like the books. All right, anyway, um, so I thought that was going to be a fun topic, but I'm a little bit uncomfortable and anxious now, so let's maybe stop talking about that, I guess. Sorry for bringing that up. Um, anyway, uh... I didn't really expect that much aggression, but... <clears throat> I don't even know what's going on at E3 next week, to be honest. I... <laughs> what, do, does anybody have an idea what, what's being shown? I don't really pay too much attention to E3, to be honest. Like, I don't watch it. I usually just wait until my brother tells me what's going on, because he watches it, like, religiously. Like, he'll take off... The my brother takes off the whole week to watch it. <laughs> it's not that I don't enjoy it, it's just I don't have time to, like, religiously sit down and watch it, you know? I just I just wait until Tumblr starts talking about it or I start seeing it on Facebook or whatever. Hopefully Ori too. Ooh, yeah, that's a good one. You're hoping for Monster Hunter. Yeah. Never played a Monster Hunter game. Pokemon game will get a playable demo so we can see more information about it. Okay. That'll be interesting. I certainly am intrigued by the new Pokemon game. I, uh, I don't know that I'm gonna get it unless it seems super duper interesting when they start showing more gameplay of it, but, uh, I'm definitely intrigued. Uh, it looks strange, and I don't know if I'm excited about it or not. Got a learning curve, but the new game is a lot easier. Oh, the Monster Hunter. I was like... Have you played Pokemon? The new Pokemon game? I was, like, really confused for a second. Honestly, like, 40% of the reason I play any of the new Pokemon games is because I want... I think that's maybe why I didn't enjoy uh, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire that much. Um, that makes sense. What I just drew there. I don't think... <laughs> like, I don't know. I, I, I feel like if... Cause like, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, I didn't... It wasn't that I didn't like them. I just didn't... I don't know. By the time I got to the last gym, I was just like, Ugh, I want to be done with this game now. Like, I just didn't... I don't know. I didn't have the same kind of love for it that I felt like maybe I should have had. And I didn't 
get like the same level of hype as everybody else did for those games. And I feel like I'm having the same thing a little bit with Pokemon with the yellow, uh, with Eevee and, and Pikachu. I just it's not that I'm not excited for them or that I think they're gonna be garbage. It's just that I guess I'm not as hyped for them as everybody else, you know? If that if that makes sense, like I'm excited that you guys are excited about it. I just spent a really long time staring at your Wargan's crotch, and I'm sorry about that. I don't know if this has to next to her belt, like, there, so... Thigh is, like... Like, I like seeing the new Pokemon that they come out with every generation, so I guess I didn't get as excited as everyone else, but... Down. I'm ready. Get kind of fucked. Like, what if I put the new helmet on it? I didn't, like, account for something? I don't know. Lost in thought, staring at the Worgen's groin. Yeah, I don't know. It looks weird still, but... That's a hip. That's a hip. There's her hip box. That's that's just about correct. We got this leg. This leg. Oh, that's right. They have weird like disproportionate. Um Lurk mode, activate. Okay, you go ahead and lurk. You're still a floating head with a mustache. That's all you gotta do is be a floating head. Don't worry about it. Nothing happened. I didn't change anything. I didn't put a mustache on 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 waning. I didn't. I I don't know where you got that idea. I don't know. I don't know why you thought that I put a mustache on her. I, <laughs> Where'd you get a crazy idea like that? Stoic, you're making stuff up. That crazy old stoic making stuff up in my chat. If I had a webcam, you'd see me smiling. Oh. I'm a little shit. <laughs> I'm a little shit who's full of shit. That's me. Side note, speaking of being full of shit, I, uh, was talking to my friend today and it's like, I'm so bad at like self-imposed rules, you know, like, oh, you can't have chocolate until this time, or, you know, you can't watch TV until you finish this project. Because like, I know I'm full of shit, <laughs> so like, I just do whatever I want. <laughs> Who cares? Aubrey, what up? People were looking at me and then I bust out laughing, yes. I'm gonna draw over this leg even though it's not in the right spot and then I'm Right, you didn't see you didn't see anything. Your character definitely doesn't have a mustache right now. Don't don't even worry about it. Went to get Chinese food and they were all out of, out of sesame tofu. Aw. Uh, unpopular opinion, I have never really liked Chinese food. Or any kind of Asian food. And I know that's super weird because, like, literally everybody I know loves Chinese food. But, like, I don't- I think- I think it's because, like, literally everything has vinegar in it. But, like, it just- I just- I can't. 
my body just does not like it and I don't enjoy it and it's just there's vinegar in everything. <laughs> I think it's mostly the vinegar and everything thing, because then it just makes it hard for me to eat. I don't know. I've never, I've never liked it. I. Good on other people. Eat what you know, eat your food. Eat what you want. <laughs> I've never had sushi. That um that is that is one thing I have never had. I've never had sushi. Um, mostly because I didn't know when it came. It, I didn't know sushi came in varieties until recently, other than raw fish. So, you know, I I just didn't know about sushi being other things, so I might be down to try sushi sometime, but. Like, I'm down, to, I'm always down to try new things now, cause like, not always. There, there's some things I won't try still, just cause like, why? But, never tasted vinegar, gotta pay attention next time. I don't, I don't really know, I think that's what it is, like. I like Asian inspired things like I like stir fry but anytime my roommate ever put stir fry sauce in the stir fry I didn't like it as much and I think it's because there's vinegar in the stir fry sauce I don't I don't know what it is specifically but I already have a hard enough time with like certain acids in my food so I feel like that might be a contributing factor I don't really know I've never figured out what it was specifically about um about like Chinese food that I didn't like It might not be vinegar, because I don't know that much about Asian cooking, but just for the most part, I haven't really liked anything I've tried. I don't know if that's just me. I I know it's super weird, though, because, like, everybody I know likes Chinese food. <laughs> yeah, okay, that looks okay. Hey, we got, like... One whole person done tonight. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, I gotta put the owl bear on her shirt too. It always made me sad whenever we went out for like Chinese food with my family. Just, just cause like, I don't know. Cause I just never that much. I actually liked whenever we went to like hibachi grills and stuff. Uh, I know that's Japanese. But oh, I liked whenever we went to hibachi grills for, like, Asian food because you could just ask the hibachi cook to, like, go easy on their, like, sauce or, or whatever it is. Like, I could just ask them to not put the sauce in my food and I just had, like, plain rice and vegetables and chicken just cooked real good. That I didn't mind. I don't know. I Everybody has a food they don't like. And that's mine. Boast. I... Sweet and sour chicken's okay. There's just been... It's not my favorite. Crab ragu's really good. Rangoon? I don't know how you pronounce it. That's just because I like crab. I could eat crab forever. I've been vegetarian my whole life. So, neat. so I know the feeling. I usually couldn't eat anything if they went out to a fancy place. Yeah. Rangoon's good. Okay. I had a feeling I had it wrong, but I wasn't sure. Alright. That little owl bear on her shirt. One. One. Done. <laughs> like, I'm tired already. I just started, like, 45 minutes ago and I'm still tired. <laughs> I'm already tired. Ugh. Always remember to stretch your hands. Hand soreness is not normal. Stretch your hands, friendos. One working and a mustache. I like that your character's name has Buckaroo in it. Buckaroo Bonsai, is that what that stands for? <laughs> oh. Definitely frustrated with my work right now. The store manager had me on a nice set schedule, so I had off every Sunday and Monday, and I could set my stream time. 
And I could schedule stuff, and it was awesome. Uh oh. I know where this is going. All right, I am sh I am appropriately have my hands stretched. I like Waning's little boob cups. They're funny. <laughs> Technically, you guys tricked me into drawing more weapons. Now she's out because she has her had, had her baby and the assistant manager is moving my schedule around and I'm overlapping my part-timers all over the place. I have weird days off and there's nothing set and it's awful. Oh, I hate that. One of uh one of our managers at uh Babies R Us. Well, not one of the managers, the manager at the Babies R Us I worked at used to do that. She would just schedule me whenever the fuck she felt like it. So, and because I was furniture and back of house, um, sometimes she'd have me in in the morning to do back of house stuff, and then, like, I'd be there until 2 o'clock, and then the next day, I, like, I'd come in at, like, you know, 3 o'clock to do furniture desk stuff, but then she'd schedule me the next morning to do truck stuff, and I was like, can you not, though? Like, I am here till 10 o'clock working on, like, furniture desk stuff for you, dragging carts all over the place, emptying boxes, doing orders for people, and then you want me to come in at 6 o'clock in the morning? Get out of here. Knock that shit off. Those were like the worst days, the back-to-backs. Ugh. Weapons. Weapons. Yeah, you guys tricked me into doing extra weapons, because... Waning's got uh Waning's got the uh the dagger strapped strapped to her strapped to her arm there. <laughs> Wanna stream for people's or at least record stuff, but no. Yeah, right. No, you can't. Well that's thanks because like having a set schedule is really important. I mean, I've I have found. Whenever I was just like, oh, hey, what's up? I'm going to stream now. That never worked for me. And then as soon as I got, like, a set schedule, that was when I started growing the channel a little bit better. I feel I'm still working the same kind of hours, but it's right in the middle of the day, so I have no time to do anything during the day. Oh, those schedules are the worst. I hated working schedules that had you, like, right in the middle of the afternoon because you could get literally nothing done. I'd leave for work at, like, lunchtime and get home at dinner time and then have no time to do it. The straps of daggers. Catching. If they were just buckled in or if they were, like... Like they're actually attached. I have to actually draw. <laughs> actually drawing stuff, I know. Craziness. Mustache. Oh, there's no mustache. I don't know what you're talking about. Nugget. I, I didn't. I didn't put a mustache on the worgen. I. I don't know what's with you guys right now and the mustache on the worgen thing. I. I didn't do it. There's. There's no mustache there. It's totally normal and fine. I bet you guys are the same people who think that Octodad is an octopus. When clearly he's just a regular human. Unless, of course, you were just saying the word mustache because you can. And were not accusing me of putting a mustache on the worgen, which I definitely did not do. At all.
One of the supervisors told me that as long as there's at least eight hours in between shifts, they can call a person in at 6 a.m. the next morning to open. It's usually by by law, a state, a law by state, I believe. I know PA, it's mandatory essentially saying that you have to allow an employee to get a full night's sleep in between shifts, but they can work back to back otherwise. Actually, Aubriel, that is mostly true, but not entirely true. The law only stipulates that there needs to be eight hours in between uh, for sleep. It does not include uh, travel time. So if as long as there are eight hours in between the shift, then that then that counts. That's it. It it doesn't matter if like it's not enough to get a full night's sleep. Because what would happen is I would drive, it would take me a half hour to get or it would take me 15 minutes to get home. And by the time I got ready for bed, I had lost an hour of sleep. Because I would have to get food, because I hadn't eaten in a while, because I was at work. It's just sort of assume that we know how to teleport. Right, yeah, the, empl the employers never um, factor that in, because I don't think that it's required by the law that they calculate in travel time. Like, one of my other, one of my co-workers there, uh, she had a 30-minute drive home, so she would lose um, an hour of sleep. I would only lose, like, a half hour, but... Because it was 15 minutes there, 15 minutes back. But she would lose a whole hour of sleep just to travel time. Okay, I need to work on a space pirate, Captain Krivani, or mutant thing. Do it. You should ask, uh, if Ron's still here, you should ask uh, for name suggestions for your mutant human species. Because I'm not good at names of stuff. I usually just throw words into a random name generator and I like one. Oh, you were asking on which, which one you should do. Um... I think you should try a Kravani. I think that would be a space pirate. All of them at the same time. A Kravani mutant human hybrid. You could call it the half Kravani. Because apparently everything is half human instead of half the other thing. Isn't that weird? Like, in like, you know, D&D &D stuff. It's a half orc. It's not a half human. You're not an orc who's half human. You are a human who is half orc. Why does the human come first? I don't have to worry about that because hybrids don't exist in Lorhandel. But still, it's a good question. primary attributes are orc and the orc and a an half orc would have something other than human maybe true i don't know what else you would i don't know enough reasons to continue that topic <laughs> like could you have a half orc that's half elf like if you have a character who's half elf and half orc is it a half elf or is it a half half orc? Because we're human. Oh, it, that's true. It is the self centered uh, phrasing. That's a good point. I think that's how that brace or how, how that shoulder piece works. I decided that half-breeds won't exist in Lorhandel because two of them lay eggs uh, and one of them is a giant cat centaur, so I was like, you know what, let's just not. <laughs> I, think that's just a, I think that's just a good plan, that maybe we just don't do hybrids. I think that that would be okay.
knife does lean back a little bit, waning is making the shoulder lean forward, so it's good. Okay. This shoulder piece is, like, simple enough that it's throwing me off a little bit. <laughs> like, I keep feeling like it needs more detail than it has, and I can't quite get it. Sense of discrimination that's actually alluded to in D&D lore for half-elves. They tend to form their own communities because they've been shunned by both sides for being half of the other. Oh, that's interesting. I actually didn't know that. I decided not to do it. That's a little too much politics. Like, not discussion topic-wise, just <laughs> writing purposes. I just didn't feel like that. <laughs> and also, I would like to discourage people from making porn of my characters as much as possible. <laughs> Alrighty, Stoic. I'll be here. I think I'm doing all right. But I will let you know if I need any more references. We're mostly at the, uh, we're mostly at the line art stage, so I didn't need too many references. Oh, references for the shoulder piece. I think I have enough pictures of the shoulder piece. It's just, it's just a weird shape, and I just, I don't like drawing shoulder thing. <laughs> Nugget, um, out of curiosity, since that got brought up, um, do you have half breeds in in your world also, or did you decide to avoid that discussion? I don't know how a I don't know how half Jahorty would work, but I'm curious if that was uh I'll be on stage. So you're lurking. It's okay, you go ahead and lurk. Be safe, do not do not get hit by another car. I know you were smart, but just... There are half-breeds of sorts, but they are incredibly limited to certain races. That would make sense. I don't know who else here world builds, but uh, if you would like to answer that question as well, you are more than welcome. If your world has half breeds or hybrids or anything, I'd be I would be curious to know. I think I have that in the wrong spot. Kind of like... Out here. Back. There's... That circle. That connects to this. Another circle, and that goes down. This piece... Here, that goes like that, that's like, dagger can go here. I do like that this, uh, 
set of armor just has crap to it. <laughs> That's just funny to me. Mostly between different types of each race, like from different parts of the world, so the big, bulky northern Jahorti covered in feathers could half-breed with the southern one with the wings. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I gotcha. I guess I never really thought about subspecies for Lore Handel. Like, I don't know if there would be, like... I think the only... I think the only animal in Lore Handel, or the only uh, species in Lore Handel, I think I would give, like, a... Um... That I would give like a subspecies of sorts, I think would maybe be the Noldaru. Because they're like. I could do like a northern version of them, but I could also do like a southern version, you know, based on like maybe African wildcats instead. Like that's the only one I could think of that would have like multiple. You know, maybe ones that adapted once they moved south, but. Subnautica. I don't know if I need, like, Tundra, but, you know, I don't think that's something I feel like I need, but... You know, Noldaru, if they come south and start living in the human cities, maybe they would start adapting different, uh, you know, different fur and stuff to, to adjust to the regular temperatures, but they're desert to hardy, which are just a little shorter and lack wings. Oh, cool. Actually, I don't think I knew, I don't think I knew that. I don't know that I knew that piece of information. That's pretty cool. Have you ever drawn pictures of them? That's uh, that's a cool idea. Do I have to turn the mustache off for a minute? I mean, uh, what? There wasn't a mustache. I don't know what you're talking about. Sorry. They don't really look, look much different from the winged ones, Lazulus. Oh, is he really? I thought he had wings. He doesn't. Last time I drew him, I don't think that that showed up, so I don't remember now. As far as breeding in between goes, it usually depends on how long they have been interacting with each other. There are some other birds that got divided up on islands in present day, so they can't mix anymore. Oh, you shaved Winnie. All right. No, he doesn't. I even told you not to draw wings on him last time. I don't think it showed up. Uh... Oh yeah, he doesn't have wings. I think the first time I drew him, he had wings. And now he doesn't. It's been a whole, like, several weeks since I worked on that, so now I'm lost. Oh, they're coming together. <sighs> okay, so, real talk, and, like, super off-topic, I feel like I need to go see a doctor. Because, <laughs> like, I have been sore for, like, a week. It feels like every day I wake up and it feels like I was, like, just running or, like, it feels like I've worked out. I, it feels like I just, you know that, like, all over sore feeling you get when you've just had, like, a really hard workout and you, like, pushed yourself way too hard? Like, 
I felt like that for like a week. And I, like, usually, like, if my body does something stupid, I'm just like, oh, well, that sucks. I'll just take an ibuprofen. But, like, right now I'm sitting here in this chair and I kind of want to die a little bit. <laughs> like, I just, my arms hurt and my shoulders hurt and I'm just, I'm, it's sinking in a little bit. Like, I was fine at the beginning of the stream, but the longer I'm sitting here, the more everything hurts. <laughs> I keep, I keep having to just stop and stretch a little bit, which is fine. Then I get back to normal. But, like, yeah, I feel like maybe that's something I need to go see a doctor about. Because, like, everything hurts. Ugh. I just want to go lay down. You know, I just I feel like I want to lay down all the time. And then I just want to sleep in. I kind of have felt like for a little while something might be wrong with my thyroid. So I should probably go get that checked out, too. But... I'm currently doing that thing where you take your temperature as soon as you wake up, trying to figure out if my thyroid's working properly, but, like, I might pitch something in my back, affect your whole body. That's not a bad point, actually. I do have trouble with my back. My lower back's all subluxated, so maybe it's that. I used to go to the, uh, I used to go to a chiropractor all the time for my lower back. My lower back hasn't really been bugging me, but I guess that doesn't necessarily mean. Yeah, blood test to see if I have a vitamin deficiency. I think they would have to do a blood test to check for the thyroid anyway, right? So that would probably help. Yeah, maybe I should do. I know my neck's kind of fucked up, like, I sometimes get this little tension headache at the bottom of my, like, at the base of my spine, like, right where it connects to, um, I guess my spine. The, the part, the part where it touches your, um, skull. Thyroid shows up, it has chemical imbalances in the blood. Yeah, maybe I should get it done. I mean, the last time I had to get a blood test done, it didn't show up as being incorrect, but I don't know. That was, like, also a year ago, so I don't know. I just, like, I, so, real talk, <laughs> I'm overweight. I'm not overweight by much, but I am overweight. And I would like to lose some of the weight, and I am really careful about what I eat. And I mostly eat, like, chicken and vegetables, and, like, I do try to eat well. And I've eliminated all kind of, like, things like, sh like, you know, soda and chips and, like, fatty snacks, I don't eat, like, sugary granola bars, you know, I'm I'm really careful about what I eat, and I know a lot of my problem losing weight is because I'm still kind of addicted to sugar, and I'm still having a hard time letting go of wanting to eat desserts, so I, I do have more sugar than I probably should, but it still doesn't seem like that should be something that's causing me to not lose weight to the degree that I'm not losing weight, you know, like, I am completely stagnant at the weight that I'm at, and... I don't really understand why, because I'm doing everything else right. Like, I'm not, I'm like I said, I'm not doing things like, I, honestly, I don't even do the thing where I, like, sit down and eat a whole sleeve of Oreos anymore. Like, honestly, after three Oreos, I'm kind of sick of eating Oreos. <laughs> it's like, I don't know what my body's doing, but it's, like, really unhappy about literally everything. <laughs> I used to feel really lethargic all the time, and then I got a blood test, and they were like, wow, you're severely vitamin D deficient? Interesting. Yeah, seasonal depression sometimes gets me, but, like, I've been outside a lot. Especially a lot more than usual, but maybe it's a, a vitamin D thing. Like, maybe maybe vitamin D is not something that my body gets, like, often enough. I don't know. Hmm. That's something to think about. Yeah, maybe I should think about doing that. I gotta get um, insurance from my work, because I haven't really been able to find anywhere out here that takes my mom's insurance. But, yeah, maybe I should do that. <laughs> Like, I'm not, like, seeking medical advice from you guys. It's just, it's nice to have somebody to talk to about it that's, like, sort of gets it. And, like, for the most part, I'm able to just let that kind of stuff go and just be like, oh, well, you know, my neck hurts probably because I slept on it funny. I'm going to just go back to bed, you know, but this is a little different. Make sure you don't have any issues with food type stuff that your body's rejecting. I went, fri I went from fine to lactose intolerant pretty much in a single month. Interesting. I didn't know that was something that could happen. Oh, well, no wonder your arm looks...
Hope I'm not lactose intolerant. I fucking. <laughs> and Halo Top ice cream is real good, but not as good as actual ice cream. <laughs> It will do, but I know I know one of my major problems is sugar because I always want something sweet after I've eaten a meal, and I've I, I went to the grocery store and I got like sugar-free puddings and stuff to try to like combat that a little bit. So I'm not going to the candy dish at work. I'm getting a sugar-free pudding, so that's helping a little bit. I'm just trying to like turn it down a little bit, but like. To put this into perspective, so I, I, I know you guys probably, you, you guys might remember a couple weeks ago, I took an entire week to just to prove to myself that I could go an entire week without eating sugar. And I went for a whole week without eating any processed sugar. I didn't have any cookies. I didn't have any, you know, ice cream. I didn't have any candy. I had no processed sugar the whole week. And I did really well. And at the end of the week, I let myself have a, a dessert. So I know I can do it. I feel worse right now than I did the week that I was off sugar, and I hurt pretty bad that week. That week, my body was really upset with me for not giving it sugar. I was craving sugar at every turn. You know, every, every second I could be near that, like, every time I walked by, like, you know, the my one coworker has a candy candy bowl on her desk. Every time I walked by, I had to remind myself that I was doing the, I was doing a sugar, you know, sugar deficiency thing. And I just, I, I had to keep reminding myself that I couldn't do it because I, I wanted to. It was just such a habit. That was several weeks ago. That wasn't like, you know, last week and now my body's mad at me for putting sugar back in. Like, that was like a month ago. One of my irrational fears is that I'll just wake up one morning and be lactose intolerant. It's part of a seven-year cycle that the body, body naturally undergoes. You can either lose or develop allergies or imbalances. Interesting. Yeah, so the week that my body was raging because of a sh because it was having sugar withdrawal felt less bad than my body does right now. <laughs> Not by much. It's a very similar, very similar feeling, but <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I think you guys are right, though. I think I should maybe go um, to the doctor and make sure that I'm not hurt, that I haven't done something to damage myself in some way. Just make sure I am, in fact, okay, because I haven't really been to a doctor in a long time. I never really needed to go to the doctor, and I'm not the kind of person that goes for, like, annual checkups, so. I should probably go and talk to a doctor again about uh, anxiety medicine, though, because uh, um, I take anxiety medicine, and I've been taking it for a little while, and it works pretty well, but I, I haven't seen my doctor, my regular doctor from back home in a while, so, like... I'm starting to run out, and I also have been taking, like, twice as much as I'm supposed to because 5 milligrams didn't feel like it was doing anything, so I started taking 10, and 10 helps a little bit, so maybe I need to talk to, I mean, maybe I need to find a new doctor and ask them about, like, if I should change my prescription dosage. Because guess what? This kid has anxiety just like everybody else. <laughs> Mine needs to be medicated. I'm an insane I rarely go to the doctor. I should probably do a checkup. Yeah. The only doctor type thing I do regularly is uh, dental. Every like six months we go. This, that, that happens. I, I almost never go to the regular doctor. Honestly, it's mostly because I didn't like my regular doctor from back home. I'm not excited to look for doctor. <laughs> Waning feels really small. I'm gonna put her on a different layer. And I'm gonna finish drawing her, but then I'm gonna um I'm gonna scale up because Legs are okay. 
bigger at the top. My anxiety is making it difficult to scream stream. Actually, it's part of the reason I'm so determined to do it regularly. Yeah, that I mean that's that's a good way to get over it. I, I don't have so much like social anxiety as I do just anxiety. <laughs> My body is just in a constant state of just help. <laughs> I'm really bad at reading other people and I'm really bad at talking to other like people one on one. I feel a lot more comfortable when I'm in a group, but I also get really tired when I'm in a group. Like, big crowds make me nervous, but, like, being with, like, three people is much more comfortable for me than two. Because then I can default to, like, letting them carry the conversation a little bit. I get stage fright when I'm, like, oh. That's a serious problem I have. That's, like, a for real a thing that I have. It's, like, probably a f at this point. Does it help me that my housemate insists on not leaving the room if they're home for the day and I want to stream? Ugh. I can't stream with other people in the room, if I'm honest. Like, I feel really awkward just, like, talking into Hear what's going on on the other side. Actually, even if I take that. I don't know why. I don't like having other people <laughs> doing the stream thing. But I think it's, like, physically in person, though, because, like, the other night when we streamed with, uh, like, Ando and, and Epi and them, like, I was fine. I want to get started, but it's a hard time getting started and I can't do it with someone in the same room. Yeah. My anxiety usually manifests in me remembering that I forgot to do something and then forgetting to do it. Once I remember. <laughs> Half the time I end these streams and then I go, fuck, I didn't thank anybody for subbing. <laughs> you know? Oh, shoot, I didn't thank the new followers for following. Like, it's like I forget. I feel like I forgot something every time I end a stream. <laughs> They're on the computer mic all the time playing games and I don't. and don't get that I want streaming time to me and my audience and that's it. I mean, I don't mind, like, it's, I don't know, it's kind of a weird, I get, I totally get what you're saying. It's kind of like a, some kind of, like, weird little discrepancy there. It's like, like, on the one hand, it's like, I could talk on the phone with somebody, like, I, I can't even talk on the phone to somebody, with somebody in the same room, actually, never mind. I was gonna say something that wasn't. Like, whenever I'm on the phone with someone, I feel like I need to go into the other room not be in the Anxiety's fun. And of course, the aforementioned not being able to read other people. So you know that's fun. That's a fun time. Yeah, cool anxiety stuff. This is discuss anxiety hour. And how much fun it is. So great. Time. That's why I generally, like, try to avoid political topics and stuff. Because for as much as I enjoy discussing politics, it just makes me angry. And streaming is supposed to be my time to, like, chill. I think po I think politics and stuff like that are really important. I think it's a really important thing to, like, get other people's point of view on that kind of stuff. But at the s even if you don't agree with them, I think it's really important to get somebody else's point of view on a subject. But at the same time, I'm anxious all the time. <laughs> Welcome back. Have a good drive.
Okay. Nice, we're almost done. The line art. Then I have to do those weapons. I don't think I'm gonna do them, right? If I'm perfectly honest with you, I do not think I'm tonight. If anything, I might end the stream a little bit early. I'm starting to get tired. Bodies rebelling for some reason. I feel like I need to adjust my desk or something. I don't know what's happening, is what I'm saying. I had to make I had to make waning a little bit taller. She seemed a little bit off because she was I don't know she seemed too small. Finally, I might get video editing software tomorrow. Ooh, that's exciting. Are you starting to do like individual videos that aren't related to streaming? Okay, so I still have to do the scythe, and I have to do the background and the claws, but um, I think I, th I think I'm about I think I'm about tapped out uh, as far as art tonight. I think I'm I think I'm good. We'll just hang. It means I can edit and post videos to YouTube. That's cool. I feel awkward talking to a camera by myself and reading off a script. So most of the well, all the videos that are up on. Uh, all the videos that are up on my YouTube are just all stream archives. I, I'm kind of doing like a like a Vine Sauce kind of thing, you know, where they just they just stream and then upload all their vods to uh, to Twitch kind of kind of deal. That's still doing the thing. I'm one of the <laughs> oh, Fev is so much still doing the thing. Let's go raid the heck out of Fev. All right, you guys, I think I'm going to call it a night. I'm like 10 minutes early, but uh, my body's starting to hurt a little bit. I think I'm going to go take some ibuprofen and go take a shower and lay down. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm glad I actually got some stuff done tonight. It's really great. I don't think I'll ever use a script, but I'm trying the talking to the camera thing. Gotcha. That's fair. Uh, yeah, let's go. Feb's beating up some kind of dinosaur, so let's go do that. All right. See you guys. Uh, tomorrow's Friday, so I might not stream. Maybe we'll play Pokemon if my dad's not around to uh, play video games, but I think they might be. So we'll, I'll see what's going on, and if not, uh, we'll play Pokemon tomorrow. But um, I'll see what's going on with my family because dad's on vacation. So um, yeah, I'll see what's going on. But uh, thanks so much for hanging out with me, you guys. You're all super duper cool. Uh, and I will see you guys later. Bye.